For an arc flash to happen, you typically need a system with a voltage over 120 volts, like super high electrical pressure pushing energy through the system. The electricity wants to travel, and if there's an easier path other than its intended path, like through damage insulation or a short circuit connected by water, dust, or an accidentally dropped tool, then the electricity will take the shorter path and jump, or arc, the gap. Once this process starts, the sheer amount of heat release turns the surrounding air into highly conductive plasma, allowing a lightning bolt of energy to speed through in a flash. Again, this isn't just an electric shock. Imagine a heat so intense that it can melt or even vaporize metal. We're talking about temperatures reaching up to 35,000 degrees Fahrenheit or more. That's about four times hotter than the surface of the sun. The explosion also creates a pressure wave that's strong enough to throw you across a room or off a ladder, it could collapse your lungs, and it could permanently damage your hearing. The blast can also send shrapnel flying, like a shotgun blast of molten metal. There's also a burst of ultraviolet light, which means even if you're far away enough to avoid the physical blast, that burst of light could permanently damage your vision. And if that wasn't bad enough, the arc flash can leave behind a toxic mist or dust of residue from all objects that were vaporized. Obviously, breathing this in can seriously damage your lungs. Essentially, an arc flash starts with a mistake in a high voltage system that escalates quickly into an electrical explosion brighter and hotter than the sun. Now you're probably thinking, that sounds terrible, and it does. But if it didn't sound terrible, then we wouldn't take arc flash safety seriously. Which is why in this training, we're going to dive into the details of how to prevent and protect ourselves from the risk of an arc flash at work.